A region of interest, or ROI analysis, is a method of extracting data from a subset of voxels, also called a mask. One way to create a mask is to use an atlas, or a map that partitions the brain into anatomically distinct regions. Another technique is called the spherical ROI approach, in which a sphere of a given diameter is centered at a triplet of specified X, Y, and Z coordinates. These coordinates are often based on the peak activation of another study that uses the same or a similar experimental design to what you are using. In this tutorial, you will learn how to do both types of region of interest analysis. AFNI comes with several atlases in both Telerac and MNI space, which can be accessed through the AFNI GUI. Navigate to the sub-01, sub-01 results directory and open AFNI. Select Anat Final Sub-01 as an underlay, then click on Define Data Mode and click on Plugins. From the drop-down menu, select Draw Dataset. You will first need to click on the button Choose Dataset for Copying. The purpose of making a copy of that dataset is to create a clean dataset with the same dimensions as the other images, but which we can write on by marking whichever voxels we want to belong to our ROI. Since all of our data has been normalized to the MNI Average 152 template, we are able to use one of our normalized anatomical images. Select the atlas DD Deci MPM and then click on the drop down menu below it. You have many different regions to choose from, but for now, select Cortex, LH, G and S, Gyrus and Sulcus, Cingulate, Mid Anterior, and then click on the button Load, Infill. This will highlight in red all of the voxels belonging to that region of the atlas. You can undo this by clicking on the Undo button, which keeps several steps in memory. Now, right-click the area to the left of the Label drop-down menu to open a more compact view of the atlas regions, and select Cortex, RH, for the right hemisphere, G and S, Cingulate Mid Anterior. As before, click on Load Infill to add that region to the current mask, and then click Save As. Call this mask MID-ACC. When you are finished, click Done. Before we can extract data from this mask, we will need to match the resolutions of the mask data set and our statistics data set by using AFNI's 3D resample command. This command requires both a master data set, which we will be resampling to, and an input data set, which will have its dimensions and resolution changed to match the master data set. For the prefix option, type midacc underscore rs plus tlrc. This will create a new file, midaccrs, in which rs stands for resampled. Move this mask to the subject directory by typing mv midaccrs dot dot slash dot dot. We can then use this mask to extract data for our ROI analysis. For the current experiment, we are interested in extracting the beta weights for the congruent and incongruent conditions separately, so that we can see what is driving the effect of the contrast incongruent minus congruent. To see which subrects we will need to extract, from the Flinker directory, type 3 dinfo verb sub 01 sub onesults stats.sub01. This will return a list of all the beta weights and contrast weights contained in the stats file. Note that subric 1 corresponds to the beta weight for congruent, and subric 4 corresponds to the beta weight for incongruent. The individual subrics can be extracted using the following code available on my GitHub. You can either download this file, or you can simply copy and paste the code by clicking the raw button, and then put it into your terminal and press enter. This will put each subject's beta weights for each condition into a separate file of congruent and incongruent. You can now extract data from the anatomical mask by using the 3D mask av command. The quiet option suppresses irrelevant information. We also specify the mask and the betas we're extracting from. We do this for the incongruent betas as well. 
you can then copy and paste these beta weights into a program such as R. I like to use the scan command in order to copy and paste a list of numbers into a variable. In this case, I'm putting them into the variables con and inc. You can then run a pair t-test to see whether the result is significant. But what if we want to base our ROI on another paper's results? For example, let's say that we read a paper reporting cognitive control effects with peak activation at the MNI coordinates 0, 20, 44. We can create a 5 millimeter sphere centered at these coordinates by using the following code with AFNI's 3D undump. The SRAD option specifies how large the radius of the sphere will be, while the master option creates a mask dataset with the same resolution and voxel size as the master dataset. The prefix option labels the output file, and dash XYZ specifies the coordinates around which to center the sphere. The dash after the XYZ option indicates that the output on the left side of the pipe, in other words, echo 02044, should be used as input for that option. The result of this command will be a file called conflict ROI, which you can use for ROI analysis. For this, we will use the same 3D mask av command as we did in the previous ROI analysis. The output will be 26 rows, one number per row, representing the average beta estimate across the voxels of the mask that we extracted from. Use the same command to extract the beta estimates for the incongruent betas file, and then copy and paste both sets of numbers into a package such as R. Here, I'm going to use the same steps as we used for the anatomical ROI analysis. The numbers you get from this analysis should look different from the ones you created using the anatomical mask, which reflects our more targeted analysis approach. Now that you've completed most of the analyses you would do with a typical fMRI data set, we will move forward to a more advanced analysis known as surface-based analysis using SUMA, the surface mapper.